Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I'm continuing in my series of introductions uh, to uh, famous um, Jewish luminaries and uh, sages and Talmudic scholars and writers. And I was prompted to do so by a very perceptive young lady that say you make references to these people you may have no idea who they are and I recently made a reference to Harav Moshe Feinstein Um so a few words about Rav Moshe uh, he was born in 1895 and died in 1986 at 91 years old he was born in Russia and uh, moved uh, to New York in uh, 1937 and he became, among other things, the Rosh Hashiva of Mephista Tiferes, Jerusalem, uh, one of the oldest existent uh, yeshivas in New York City. A very reputable person. His, uh, he became a halachic authority. His response, his answers, his, um, he was a posik. He was a, he was a halachic authority that people came to, to make a ruling on certain things. And his answers, his responses, his rulings, uh, have been published uh, in uh, uh, Igros Moshe, and his uh, novelle on uh, Talmud are, have been published in uh, Dibros Moshe. Um, Drash Moshe are his thoughts on uh, the Torah. Uh, they appeared uh, posthumously. Um, he has a biography, which I believe is published uh, by uh, Art Scroll. Um, he is the de facto, was the de facto supreme halachic authority, the authority in Jewish law for uh, observant uh, Orthodox Jews in North America. Uh, people hold by what Rav Moshe uh, said, what his rulings were. Uh, he was a great posik. Off the top of my head, uh, he made a ruling. Um, there's a doctrine called Pekuch Nefesh. You can throw out almost every Jewish law um, out the window if it comes to saving a life. There's three exceptions. You can't murder an innocent person, you can't go to idolatry, and you can't do um, sexual uh, perversions. But anything else, for example, Sabbath laws, you can break the Sabbath laws if it means you know, that a person's um, health, his life, uh, is at stake. The, the question was this someone uh, is hurt, someone's in need, he has to go to the hospital. The Kulk Nefesh clearly allows you to drive on the Sabbath to take the person uh, to the hospital. The problem is this, once you deliver the person to the hospital, the emergency is over. All the laws of Shabbos click in. You are now, it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, it's the summertime, it's the middle of, middle of June, Shabbos doesn't finish until 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. You're stuck at the hospital with no way back. People might hesitate. And this actually happened to me with my former brother-in-law. People might he hesitate to take someone to the hospital or even be a passenger in the car giving the directions to the hospital because they don't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere for 12, 13 hours. This uh, this question, this Shaila, came before Rav Moshe Feinstein, and he ruled that in the case of Pekuch Nefesh, it was saving a life, clearly everyone agrees you're allowed to, to drive a person to the hospital on a life-saving uh, emergency. Uh, uh, you're, no one argues with that. But what Rav Moshe Feinstein said was the uh, Pekuch Nefesh applies to the drive to the hospital and the drive back. Because he, because he didn't want anyone to hesitate, as happened with my former brother-in-law, where he was had a severe head injury. Uh, we were somewhere in uh, in the Laurentians in Quebec. We didn't know where the hospital was. The neighbors, who were also Orthodox, um, knew where the hospital was, but they were reluctant to, rather than give us the direction, we said, listen, we don't have a lot of time. Just come along with us. Show us how to get to the hospital. And they hesitated. They didn't want to know because they knew it was like 9 o'clock in the morning and they're going to be there for 12 hours and they can't get back. To avoid this situation, Rav Moshe Feinstein says that in a situation of Pekuch Nefesh, the, the, you are allowed to drive 
the person to the hospital, and it also includes the drive back, so that no one should hesitate even for a moment to take a, an injured person um, to the hospital or other such um, emergency. A person's having a heart attack, he fell down the stairs. My, my former brother-in-law's uh, case, it was a severe head injury, and uh, he had to get to the hospital now. There's this shilly-shallying with the question w w could not be tolerated. Um, this was the genius of uh, Ramosh Feinstein. Many of uh, many of my friends, many of my uh, colleagues, many of the people I know, they hold by Rav Moshe Feinstein. If Rav Moshe says it, you can take that one to the bank. It's the halacha. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Emona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.